There was a young man in, in Calvary. Uh, his name was Ben. Like the creepypasta, Ben drowned. God, I love that creepypasta. And I was running a youth group. I was there for a few years. And um, he was just, he was a nice kid, but he was one of those kids that was always just, he's a real smart aleck. You know, I understand that you're in a, in a church, but um, smart aleck? Can't you come up with a better word? Like, you know, like jerk or, you know, smart ass? It was, just, was, was a bright kid which didn't help things, right? Made him more dangerous. And we were outside one day, youth group, and uh, he was just, just trying to push my buttons, and he was just, you know, kind of not taking the Lord serious. Well, considering that this guy, Jesus Christ, was nailed to a cross, uh, put inside of a cave after he supposedly died and then come back three days later uh, to be taken seriously... Yeah, no one's gonna take, no one with a sane, rational mind should take this seriously. And I walked over to him and I went, BAM! I punched him in the chest as hard as I, I crumpled the kid. Whoa, what the fuck, dude? You could have injured the child really badly. He's very young. You could have broken his rib cage. Or if he's falling down on something really hard, he could break his head or break his neck. He could have been hospitalized. And you're doing this under the name of God? Yeah, that seems very nice. I mean, in fact, there should be a fucking slogan for Christianity. You know, it should say something like this. Christianity, we punch children in the chest. I just crumpled them. And I said, I leaned over and I said, Ben, when are you going to stop playing games with God? God hate playing games? Man, now I really know I'm going straight to hell. I led that man to the Lord right there. There's times that that might be needed. When the fuck is it a good time to punch a child in the chest in defense of God? For Christ's sakes, he's a little child. I can understand, you know, scolding him. Sure, I would see you as a total asshole, but at least you're a kind of asshole that wouldn't hurt a child. But the fact that the matter is that you punched a child in the chest as hard as you could just for the sake of in, in defense of your God when he is nothing more than a child. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. You know what's really freaking sad? People like this pastor and multiple Muslims trying to be defensive of God because if you make fun of God, criticize God, or make fun of any of their prophets, it could range to having your account suspended to getting killed just for criticizing a god. People like Johnny is Bravo cannot understand the concept that no one is immune to criticism, regardless on whether or not the person is fictional or the person lives in reality. But yet somehow being offended means that you have every right to either censor someone, to hurt someone, or even kill someone, which is oddly pathetic. Candy Kill 10 is the one responsible for flagging down my videos back in 2012. This kid is so pathetically sad that he followed me for one and a half year trying to quote unquote protest against me. And this kid is pathetically stupid. If you've seen some of his videos, he doesn't even make any sense and contradicts himself. Uh, and guess what? If you try to criticize him, he'll um, call you a dick sucker, he'll call you, um, a gay lord, um, uh, a African fool, or whatever, he'll be racist, homophobic, and guess what, Google or YouTube, whatever, does not fucking care on how much this kid curses, because this kid is pretty much completely and utterly retarded, and I'm surprised that Google has not taken down his account yet. However, if you've seen some of the videos, his videos are utterly pathetic.
And although he lost all his friends during the process of his sick obsession with me, he has done a lot of damage to my account. And Google was completely, utterly biased at the time. They would flag my comments down because apparently making fun of a Christian, you know, telling him to fuck off is apparently hate speech. But it's not hate speech when this kid can say things like you're such an African fool, that you're a dick sucker and etc. Doing nothing more than harass people. Not even a single flag. Google was a piece of shit and it still is even towards this day. But the point of the matter is, it's utterly pathetically sad that people need to either censor someone, hurt someone, or even kill someone in the name of God. They're willing to sacrifice their friends just to defend their God. And that is utterly pathetic. That's the point of my video. And before you say that I'm just bashing people, I'm being a Islamic phobe, a Christian phobe, or whatever, keep in mind that I'm aware that not all Christians are utterly crazy. In fact, I have, most of my family members are Christians, and I love them for who they are. They don't shove their beliefs down people's throats. They respect other people's religions. My cousin, like, um, what's his face? Giovanni is a Christian. He wasn't a hardcore Christian until like two years ago when he starts hearing voices about God. To me, I find that a bit crazy, but you know what? If he wants to believe in God, I will not judge him for any of that. Same thing with any other family members that believe in God. Just as long as you don't force your beliefs down my throat, we're cool. So, so I'm calling out the likes on Johnny is Bravo. I'm really hoping that Johnny is Bravo is looking at this video because I got a special message for him. You, sir, are not immune to criticism. No one is immune to criticism. You can flag this video down all you like because this is not violating any of the terms of agreement. I am simply stating out what I have to say. If all I did was just insult you and just pester you, then you would have a point. But I have every right to make whatever video I want, regardless on whether or not I receive lots of likes or lots of dislikes, because I, the atheist gamer, is not immune to criticism. I can receive as much hate or much support from any video that's on YouTube. It's that simple. So I can make as many videos as I want towards Johnny is Bravo because he is not immune to criticism as long as I provide criticism towards Johnny is Bravo.